Let us try to solve the second problem in Microsoft Excel. So in this problem, we are supposed to create a worksheet that contains the details about the electricity consumed by the customer. And we are supposed to store this information like customer number, customer name, meter number, previous meter reading and current meter reading. We are supposed to store the details for 10 customer and then calculate the total unit consumed which is nothing but um, the current meter reading minus the previous meter reading and then we are supposed to calculate the total amount to be paid for the total number of units that are consumed by the customer. There are certain conditions that uh, they have specified over here which we are supposed to follow while calculating the total amount. Apart from that, we are supposed to do a data validation as well as uh, arrange the records in the alphabetical names of the customer. Also, we are supposed to use a filter to show the records whose bill amount is greater than uh, 1500. So let's go ahead and let's do the this exercise. So let's uh, I have uh, taken the privilege of uh, storing this information that is the customer number, customer name, meter number, previous reading and the current reading. I have also created uh, the column heading for total units as well as the amount. Also, I have uh, stored a um, few names over here. Let me start with the customer number. So I'm going to start um, the customer number as C101 and I'm going to go and uh, use the fill handle to drag the records until I get um, the 10 records. Let me just go and just get uh, the 10 records that's are, that are enough for me. Then I'm going to select this one as told in the previous video whenever you are selecting something click in middle and then drag don't use the fill handle click in the middle and just drag it. So you have made this selection and then what you need to do is go to the fill handle here again. So go to the fill handle and using the fill handle just repeat this uh, five names uh, again and you have uh, the customer name. Let's start with the meter reading. Let me assume that the first meter reading is uh, 50 and the second person's uh, meter, uh, okay, this is the meter number. Let me give some uh, meter number. A111 is the meter number. And uh, once it is done, just click on this uh, fill handle and just drag it and make it as uh, the meter number. So you have the meter number over here. And let's start with the previous um, uh, reading. Let's take uh, the previous reading for the first customer as 50. For the second customer, it is, uh, let me make it as 60. Okay, I'm going to select both of them. And uh, if you start dragging it, if you just drag it, it's going to uh, increase the number. You notice that uh, 50, 60, uh, what is the difference between 50 and 60 is 10. It's going to add that 10 for every successive things. So the difference between these two is 10 and then it's going to add 10 for every next uh, number. So let me uh, complete this one. So we have um, these numbers. Okay, I'm going to now go uh, with the next one and that is uh, I'm going to uh, make uh, the current reading as 90 and uh, for the second one, I'm going to make it as current reading as uh, 130. Okay, so two customers have done it. Select both of them. Again, I'm selecting by clicking in the middle and then dragging it down. Then I'm going to use the fill handle for uh, repeating these uh, details. So I'm going to click and drag it and that's all. You got um, all of them over here. Okay, so that's it. We have done the total units consumed and uh, I mean, uh, the current reading. So this is the previous meter reading and this is the current meter reading. Now let's get the total units. So to get the total units, I start with the equal sign. Current reading, 
minus the previous reading is going to give me the total reading so I just click on the current reading and uh, this is what I've done so I'm just subtracting current reading from the previous reading again I'm going to use the fill handle on the uh, this formula and then I'm going to fill it very quickly so this is what um, I have it okay with that done let's go and let's calculate the total amount and let's see what are the things that they are supposed to how do we calculate the total amount now to do, uh, do the uh, total amount calculation let's look at the condition that they have given now what they have done is uh, they have divided so uh, this unit that uh, you are getting it over here so this is the total unit consumed for the first customer total unit consumed is 40 for the next customer the total uh, unit consumed is 70 and for the next customer it is 100 and so on so forth so what they have done is uh, they have given a range here so this is what uh, they have done so from if the total unit consumed lies between 0 and 30 so this is what they are saying so if the total unit consumed is between 0 and 30 then the charges is 100 so this is a flat charge so the somebody has to pay 100 rupees for any unit so even if you consume one unit then you have to pay 100 rupees if you consume 5 units you have to pay 100 units if you consume 10 units you have to pay 100 up to 30 units you have to pay flat 100 rupees so there is no uh, escape from this so after this 30 suppose uh, if you go to the next one uh, till 100 units from 31 to 100 units let me uh, just make it uh, uh, here so up to here up to 100 units so let's go 100 units so in this range if you are there in this range then for every unit that you are consuming for every unit you have to pay 4 rupees 70 paisa that is per unit uh, suppose if you are if you consume say uh, if you uh, consume uh, 35 units suppose if you have consumed 35 units so what will be the amount in this case see for the 30 units first 30 units you have 100 then for the remaining 5 units so remaining 5 units you have to uh, give 470 per unit that means 5 into so 30 to 35 that's 5 unit is there 30 to 35 that 5 units for every 5 units you have to pay 4 rupees 75 so this plus your previous 100 so this 100 is already there so your amount will be 100 plus this whatever you are consuming suppose if you consume the full unit if you are uh, if you consume 100 units then what will be the amount that you have to pay so from 30 to so this is uh, altogether 70 so you will have to multiply 70 into 4.7 so that amount you have to pay now let's look at uh, the next condition what they have said so suppose uh, from 101 if you are consuming the for the next uh, 200 unit suppose if you are uh, consuming up to 200 so in this range so in this whole range what is the amount that uh, you are supposed to pay is uh, 6 rupees 75 pesa per unit suppose you have consumed let's say you have consumed uh, 150 units so you have consumed 150 units so what will be the amount that you are supposed to pay the amount is uh, for the first 30 units you are going to pay 100 rupees for the remaining 70 units you are going to pay 70 into 470 4 rupees 70 paisa then for this 150 units that you have consumed extra 50 units you have consumed for this you are you are going to pay 6 rupees 25 pesa so this 50 into 625 this is here this place and 70 into 470 in this range 100 rupees on the first flat price suppose if you go beyond this 200 then for any amount any units below uh, above this uh, 200 units so suppose if you consume 250 rupees uh, your unit consumed is 250 then this last 50 you are going to pay 7 rupees 30 pesos 
so this is uh, 7 rupees 30 paisa for the last unit what about the previous uh, unit so from 100 to 200 you know it is 100 units so it is 100 into 6 rupees 25 paisa for this range it is 6 rupees 25 paisa and what about the uh, uh, this range 30 to 100 that is uh, 70 into 4 rupees 70 paisa and 100 is uh, the next flat price so this is how the calculation is performed and this is what you are supposed to do it so let me go ahead and um, let me write the formula so i'm going to go with the formula so let's go ahead and let's write the formula so i'm going to start with the if statement if the unit consumed if the total unit is less than 30 let me go over here because they said 31 here that means 30 is also included okay so i'm going to make it as uh, equal to 30 so if, even if it is equal to 30 then you are going to pay the price as uh, 100 rupees flat if that is not the case so this is a uh, if it is uh, in the first range that is what i said if you are in the first range you are going to pay 100 rupees suppose if you are beyond this range below uh, above this range how much you are supposed to pay so if you are going above this suppose if you are going above 30 and up to 100 units so 31 to 100 suppose if you are going in that range so if unit consumed is less than 100 remember it is greater than 30 it is if it is less than 30 you would have reached in this place if you are not reaching this so that means uh, it is greater than 30 what is the amount that you are supposed to pay remember first you have to pay the flat charges so again recall so if you are going from here so from 0 to 30 so this unit you are paying 100 rupees flat above this whatever difference you are getting for that you are multiplying it to 4 rupees 75 pesos so this is what um, you are doing so let's go ahead so above 30 units if you are uh, going then you have to pay whatever the difference you have to pay so this is um, 100 that is the first uh, for the first 30 you have to pay 100 plus whatever is the difference so current uh, unit consumed minus 30 whatever is the difference for that difference you are supposed to multiply it with the 4.7 4 rupees 70 paisa you can put to zero also it doesn't make any difference because it's 4.7 okay let's go ahead with the next option suppose if you are consuming more than 100 units that means you are going in this range 100 to 200 range in that case what you are supposed to do suppose if the unit consumed by you is uh, let me put equal to sorry about this uh, equal is there so don't forget that so this equal is there because uh, they are starting with 101 31 and so on so every time that equal is required suppose if it is uh, less than or equal to 200 in that case what is that you are supposed to do so in that case look at uh, what you're supposed to do is suppose uh, if you have consumed uh, let me say if you have consumed uh, so for the 0 to uh, 30 you are paying 100 rupees flat from 30 to 100 you are supposed to pay this difference is 70 so 30 100 minus 30 is uh, 70 into whatever uh, amount that uh, you are supposed to pay per unit that is 4 rupees 75 so 4.70 so this is what you are supposed to uh, do that thing now i have uh, done the calculation and kept it uh, slightly below here so this is uh, 4 rupees 75 paisa so this is uh, 4 rupees 75 paisa into 70 you are going to get um, 3290 so look at uh, here so this is uh, from 0 to 30 you are supposed to pay 100 that is it plus uh, whatever is the difference okay you are supposed to pay 4.75 now this is 70 up to 100 it is 70 so this is a uh, 70 into 
4.75 that amount happens to be 329 plus this 100 this is 329 so this is a thing but 70 into 4 rupees 70 paisa so this is a 329 plus 100 you are going to get 429 so this is the amount so i'm going to directly add this 429 there so let me escape it and go to the formula so if it is that 429 plus whatever is the difference plus whatever is the difference that you are getting it that is uh, uh, this minus 100 whatever is the difference above 100 whatever you are getting into so this is what they have said uh, so from 100 to 200 so so 100 above whatever amount you are getting for that you have to ask uh, for that you have to uh, multiply 6.25 so let me multiply it with the 6.25 okay suppose if you are going be beyond this suppose if you are going beyond 200 unit then what is that you are supposed to do so if you are going beyond 200 unit then what is that you are supposed to do so let's uh, go ahead and let's uh, look at this formula so from 0 to 30 from 0 to 30 here so you are paying 100 this is a flat price for the next 70 so from 30 to 100 so for the next 70 you are supposed to pay 70 into 4.7 that is a 329 you are supposed to pay from 100 to 200 this is the 100 units for the next 100 units you are going to pay 6 rupees 25 paisa that works out to be 625 okay and whatever is remaining whatever is remaining for this you are going to multiply it with the 7 rupees something that we have given so uh, after this whatever it comes up for that you are supposed to multiply it with that um, amount that they have specified suppose if i add all these things 100 plus 329 plus 625 i am going to get 1054 i'm going to use the direct value over here so that is 1054 so beyond this if you are going first you will add 1054 plus whatever is the difference so uh, this minus 200 whatever is the difference that is beyond 200 into whatever the multiplication factor they have provided and that is they have said for 7.3 7.30 is same as 7.3 so i will multiply it with 7.3 now with that we are going to close the circular bracket so as uh, you are all familiar whenever you are closing it you have to get uh, the last color as black so this is not black this is not black and this one is uh, the black color i don't know whether you will be able to appreciate that uh, on the screen okay last color is black if you get it press enter and uh, you're done with it so let me click on this and uh, drag it once i get this formula and that's all we got um, the total amount calculated now once this is done let's look at what else they have said after this they said go for the data validation see to it that the current reading is more than the previous reading okay so this is what they have said uh, even though we have already filled the value so what they are saying is this value must be greater than the other value if it is not do not accept it that means i have to put a validation saying that uh, if uh, if somebody uh, types like uh, the previous reading is 50 and the current reading is 30 then it should not accept it here it is going to end up in a much bigger uh, problem but uh, it is not supposed to do that thing so how do i put uh, the validation first of all i am going to select uh, this one i need a validation for the current reading so i'll select all of them again how did i select it click in the middle and just drag it i'm not using the fill handle i'm just dragging and selecting it so i have selected all of them and then i'm going to go uh, to the ribbon called data so i will go to this uh, tab over here that is the uh, data ribbon and in this data ribbon we have a lot of things and one thing that is of interest to us is this uh, data 
validation so this is what uh, we are interested in so let's go and let's look at uh, data validation now so i'm going to click on this uh, data validation and what i want i want to validate the data so i'm going to click on the uh, validation click on this uh, data validation and it's going to show uh, tell me what is that you are, you want to do so uh, it says uh, which uh, what is the criteria criteria is uh, i want this current reading must be greater than or equal to remember there can be also a situation where the current reading is uh, equal to the previous reading for example you are there at home and for some reason you went out of the home maybe for a holiday or something one month you were not there at home and everything was switched off there was uh, no power consumed so next uh, month when the electric uh, city bill man uh, comes to your house you will get uh, the same reading because uh, no power has been consumed so the current reading and previous reading can be equal but uh, they cannot be less current reading cannot be less than the previous reading in that case the meter is uh, rotating in the reverse direction so or you are producing the electricity and giving it to the keb so other way uh, is also possible but in any any case let's go to the uh, this option so here it says which values are allowed because it's a whole number i assume that uh, uh, electricity people are not so stingy that they will uh, even go for the fractional values so they will take the whole number as a reading so this is the whole number and uh, the next one it says between i don't want the between i will say that greater than or equal to this is the what is the greater than or equal to what greater than or equal to the previous reading so i'm going to click on this one and then select all the previous readings so up to here i'm going to select it again click on this to come back so once that is done okay you can actually keep the cursor here and then drag and do that thing but anyway i've done that thing now if there is a, this condition is violated i want to give some error message so i will click on this error message what did it says okay oh okay so this uh, uh, i think i should have selected one okay so let's uh, go here uh, let me take one previous reading okay let me click okay i'm not supposed to click okay there so let me click on this uh, data validation again and then uh, i'm going to click on this and i think i will select this i don't know what uh, what did it say you click ok and if i click on this it says uh, uh, reference is not there ok i will select one and then click um, error message and i am going to type the uh, error here and the error that i am going to type is um, meter reading ok current reading must be what is that you are going to say current reading must be greater than previous reading okay that's it uh, they have not uh, asked me to provide an input message so i'm not going to give that thing click ok and that is done i don't know why this uh, thing didn't work in the first place okay so let me do that thing and uh, it should have taken all the range now so let me start with one of them suppose if i type 30 here and press it you get a uh, message saying that the current reading must be greater than the previous reading click uh, uh, retry and then uh, uh, type the value which is uh, more than that and you get it now what about uh, this one so i'm going to just type 45 here and uh, you get that thing okay now this uh, suppose uh, if i change this value uh, to say 90 uh, 470 remember there is a uh, once you've done this it will not do the validation now if i go here and then if i take 45 what message i am getting it is uh, it is going to say that um, the current reading must be greater than the previous reading so which is this uh, uh, current reading that it is taking is this 60 okay so let me click uh, retry here and let me make it as 61 so it is going to accept remember this value 
this value must be greater than uh, uh, this value okay now uh, you may notice uh, one uh, strange thing over here now this uh, value is for 6 uh, 780 and this is uh, 78 why what has happened remember when you are typing this value so let me say 61 if i type you'll get an error message because current value is only getting value validated so if i retry and uh, if i type 481 it's going to accept it but after some time if i go over here and make it as thousand if there is no validation as such because the validation is there only for this part okay hope uh, you have understood uh, that part so when i type the validation the this only this field is going to validate it and then this uh, uh, suppose uh, if i make this less than uh, uh, 70 like 65 if I make it and uh, I'm going to get the error message so that's it <clears throat> I have uh, done the validation here now one other thing that you can do uh, during the examination suppose if you have time you can click on this validation again now I'm going to select this whole thing and uh, uh, you can if at all you want it this is extra uh, if at all you want it you can also give a message for input text if you want you give the message otherwise you just leave that message altogether so with that done let's go ahead uh, uh, with the next part and what is the next uh, part that says they say okay arrange the records in alphabetical order of the names so this is a straightforward thing let me go uh, to the names over here and uh, let me click on you can click on anywhere in the within this uh, range okay and then let me go to the home tab here i'll go to this home tab and in the home tab let me go to the sort and filter here and i'm going to sort it i use the i'll use the custom sort so sort and uh, if it is it's not visible to you i'm using the custom sort under uh, sort custom sort click on the custom sort and then I will select the field as they said names so I'll select the field as name that is the name of the customer and this is what they have said uh, arrange the name in the alphabetical order of the names so I will select the names and then I'll say in the alphabetical order that is A to Z when I click on yes or click on ok the automatically A comes first Asha then Deepa A D K and so on this is uh, in the <coughs> ascending order of their uh, names with that let me go to the next part and that uh, next part is uh, filter the bill uh, whose uh, bill amount is more than um, 1500 so let me add the filter to this so uh, anywhere you can click within this cell anywhere you can click and then let's go to the home uh, tab over here and in the home tab right at the uh, last side over here where you are doing the filter there you get an uh, one more option called as uh, uh, the where you've done this sorting you will get one more option called as filter so click on this filter and what you notice here is uh, you have a filter and you can always filter them by clicking on this down arrow so again I don't know whether it is visible to you there is a down arrow over here you can click on them and then do the uh, filtering now what is the filtering that they are asking you is the bill amount must be greater than uh, 1500 so all those bill amount let me first check whether I have a 1500 bill amount I think I don't have any uh, bill with the 1500 bill amount so I'm going to uh, purposely generate uh, one bill and I'm going to make it as 500 so this is 500 and maybe uh, this is 800 so that uh, maybe 5000 Okay, this is a very high number okay, 35,000 and this is above 1,500 15,000 okay, 1,500 so I'm going to filter it so let's go to the amount here click on the down arrow of the amount and then I'm going to go to the number filter here and what does uh, uh, they said it must be greater than let's look at the amount must be more than 1500 so i'm going to go over here click on the down arrow and uh, click on the down arrow and then i'm going to go to the number filter and win the number filter i'll go to the greater than and uh, i'm going to click on this greater than and i'm going to say it must be greater than 
1500 that's all i'm supposed to do it let me click ok and uh, with that it is an oh these are values are there which are 1500 so uh, what was i change it anyhow i got the answer there so this is the the filter that's all you're supposed to do it so click on um, this and uh, you have the answer thank you for your interest we will meet again in the next uh, video thank you